What was that like on Saturday? Man, it was really like a dream come true. I mean, I've been around Auburn like, for a long time, being recruited, being recruited by Auburn, and just like get my first snap out there, like play my first game out there. It was like a dream come true. How about D line rotation? You got on the first game, get so many guys in there. I mean, it, I mean that's how the D line rotation gonna be every game. Like we like eight deep, so everybody gonna get a bunch of ribs. Nobody gonna really be tired for real. Like that's how we can maximize our ability to play at the highest level, play fast all the time. Have you heard from Marcus? Has he given you your uh, grade yet for the game? <laughs> he really gave me a grade. He called me after the game though, he because he seen me do his celebration after I got my sack. So he called me, was like joking with me and stuff about that. What How do you think you did your first time out there? Uh, I feel like I did pretty good. I mean, it's, it's definitely stuff, some stuff I can work on, but like, I mean, that's what we come back to practice for every day, fix everything that we could have did and do it the next game. What is the Marcus celebration? <laughs> when he smacked his head down, pull it down like that. What have you seen out of Cal's offense on, on tape early yeah, this week? They have tempo offense and they have a really aggressive offensive line. They, they don't try to position block, and they got a good running back, and they're going to try to run the ball. So, I mean, the D-line and the front seven going to be, like, really big in this game. He got injured in that first game, the running back. Are y'all hoping he plays? I mean, yeah, because he – I mean, I, I really just want to see how good he is. Like, I mean, last year he, he went out the game against Harvard, and, I mean, I just wanted to see how we match up against a running back like that to go forward, like to see how good we are going forward against the run. Malik, uh, what's it like for the defensive line when you rotate six or seven guys in there? How does that affect you? I mean, it really helps. Like, so we like we stay fresh the whole game. Like, I, I really, like, didn't get tired at all during the game because it was just, like, the rotation was so deep. And I get that, get a drive and a half off before I went back in. And we always kept fresh legs in there. So, I mean, it really, really like, was beneficial to me, especially like me being a freshman. Like, I don't think coach wanted me to take all those snaps anyway. You and Amaris both got a good bit of run with the defensive line Saturday. It looked like you guys even combined for a sack for mm -hmm. the game. What kind of relationship do you guys have as kind of the two fresh on the line? You know, what was it like, I guess, to make it? I mean, me and, me and Amaris have been close since we first came here. Like, we just, we just like every day we try to make each other better. Like, we give each other pointers. I give him a pointer. Like, tell, like I be trying to get him to communicate better. Like, stuff like this happening with the whole line and stuff like that. See them, they heavy on their hands. If they finna run the ball, they light, so they finna pass. I just like try to like give them a little pointers and stuff like that. So we can both like be better, both play better. In high school, I mean, you played all over the line. You had to. The way it was working. Um, looks like you're playing pretty much three-tech here, mm -hmm. right? Do you feel comfortable there? Is that a spot that you would consider your best one? I mean, I feel comfortable. I still feel comfortable playing anything because, I mean, I still have to play everything here. Yeah. I mean, because it's some, it's some um, packages where I'm a uh, nose and I'm playing a two-eye or it's a head of zero. And some where I'm playing a five technique. So, like, I mean, it, it's really, like, no change. We just didn't run a lot of the stuff on Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. it's like vanilla, right? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Anything surprise you about the first game? Just I mean, just seeing all them people in there, like how, how crazy the fans were, that tie go up. Yeah, just like, I don't know. Like, I mean, it's just, I don't know. It just, yeah, a lot of stuff surprised me. Like, what do you feel like you did well enough in the spring and in the fall to earn a spot in the defensive line rotation? For one, I got better with all of my techniques. Like, over the summer, that's really like the main thing I focused on. I got I got better with my technique. I learned the plays better, and I just got stronger. Like I gained I gained some pounds. Like I can, I'm like I'm at, I'm at like right right at 300 pounds right now, and I can't get moved around as easy as I could when I first came here. So I mean, all that stuff played into it. Free said he he thought y'all could do a better job moving forward of, of crushing the pocket. A little bit has that been an emphasis early this week? Yes, it has. Like we we really like was it really cushion the pass. I mean, cushion the pocket. We was trying to like work edges, and it wasn't really like beneficial to the pass rush. So like we started like like doing more power moves. Like our coach told us to start doing more power moves and getting our hands up, trying to bat balls.
Been helping having Isaiah Rates back this week. A little bit of that. Yes, it does. Like he he a, he a really good player. He can play nose and tackle. So I mean, he gonna he gonna really help us for sure. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks.